Welcome to the Real Analysis video course. It's my goal to take full-length complicated lectures and break them down into bite-sized video chunks that you can easily understand. I'm going to try my best to cover all of the main things you would see in an introductory Real Analysis course. Obviously, I won't be able to get through everything that every single professor goes through, so I'm gonna hit the high points. Now obviously we want to talk about the study of real numbers, that's what real analysis is, but before we do we have to talk about some preliminary things. Specifically here we are talking about ordered sets. What does it mean for a set to be ordered? You really probably already know that, but we'll just really define it. We'll say a set S, call it capital S, is ordered or it has order and sometimes we say with a relation or with relation the relation we're using here is one you're very familiar with the less than sign so we need two things to say our set is ordered for any two elements in s let's call them x and y one of these three things either x is less than y y has to be less than x or they have to be equal and that makes sense take any two real numbers well one has to be less than the other or they have to be equal it's the only way that can happen there is another condition here and it's sort of a transitivity thing say x was less than y and y was less than z if these were happening together well this would have to imply that x is less than z. Think one is less than two and two is less than three. Well, that would have to mean one is less than three, at least if we're talking about an ordered set. And with real analysis, with the real numbers, we are. Of course, if we have that if x is less than y or x equals y, we'll use the conventional notation x is less than or equal to y, but this is not a, this is not a condition of ordered sets. It's just a nice, little shorthand notation. In the next video, we'll talk about boundedness and the supremum.